Hey guys, it's Darcy Simmer and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with another room build. Today I am building a bathroom because I don't think I've actually built a bathroom. Actually, yes, I have for the, uh, uh, one of those challenges I did. I don't know if it was the one room, one week, one theme challenge. I think it might've been that one, but that's the only time I've ever built a room. Uh, I mean a bathroom on my channel. So I decided why not go ahead and build a bathroom and I know I didn't post a video yesterday, but uh, yeah, it's just not been a great week for me, so, uh, yeah, I just didn't feel like recording anything, so I skipped my let's- one of the let's plays for this week, but, uh, yeah, everything else should be good to go and fine if I can get myself to record everything, but, uh, yeah, so today I am building a room, and like I said, it's a bathroom, but I kind of combine, like, a bathroom and laundry room, because I know a lot of times, um, houses will have, like, the laundry area in the bathroom so it was a pretty big bathroom and I wasn't sure what to put um on the other side of the wall so I decided to just make it like half a bathroom half a laundry room and I do actually change the size of the bathroom from what it is right now uh it was a little bit big once I started placing everything in so yeah that's when I changed it but um I also changed this wood paneling because I don't know I wanted there to be like a rustic wood paneling behind the sink area and then um on the opposite wall but I don't, I don't know I just didn't like the way it looked with all the other wood colors because you know in The Sims 4 none of the wood colors match which is annoying but yeah uh so I do change that to like a white paneling instead uh yeah that one is the one I use but uh yeah I don't I don't know um and then I did still none of the wood textures match colors but it is what it is. I, I worked with what I had. So, uh, yeah, I do really like the way the bathroom turned out. I did add a few more decorations than what I normally do. And, yeah, here's where I was trying to figure out what to do with this side of the room. Because I wasn't originally going to put a shower in. I was just going to put a bathtub. But then I was like, I have this giant corner over here and nothing to do with it. So I decided to stick in a shower. And then that's where the laundry area is as well. And then I saw a picture on Pinterest of, um, I just looked up some country bathroom inspiration ideas and I saw this little chair and it had like um little soaps and plants and stuff in it in the bathroom and I thought it looked pretty cool so uh yeah I thought this chair from the cats and dogs pack would have been perfect because it is kind of you know country themed pack and I don't know I just really liked it I thought it looked cool hopefully you guys enjoy it too but I don't, I don't know I just thought it looked pretty awesome I wasn't sure what to do over here everything just looked so empty I think I ended up just putting a um a painting there or something. Uh, yeah, I think I put one of the cats and dogs paintings there, probably. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I always feel like I need to have something on every wall, and I know sometimes that's not the case, and sometimes I will just not do anything with it, but, oh, okay. I, I ended up putting a wreath there, but I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like the walls are empty and they need something, but I'm just not sure. I really wanted to use this light as well, but it just doesn't light up enough, as you can see. And then, uh, yeah, these lights. I just decided to put one in there, which I think it looks kind of cool anyway, because, uh, I don't know why, but for, um, whenever I'm doing, like, country-inspired builds or something, I like to have, like, um, a wall or something of just, like, random knickknacks and stuff, and I don't know, that's kind of what that wall reminded me of, so I just decided to put one light there. It made sense, and if I put one on the other side, it kind of clipped into the um, shelf and I couldn't really move the shelf anywhere else so uh, yeah I just decided to put one light and I think it looks pretty cool um, there's not very much light around the shower area but uh, you know it, it's fine it's whatever the rest of the rooms lit up so I guess that's okay I just didn't like uh, because I put the shower there the light doesn't look like it's centered because there's a wall there but the light is centered in the room I just I don't know it, it kind of looks weird but I like it. it. It's fine. You know, whatever. But, uh, yeah. This is one of my favorite bathrooms I've ever built, though. I don't know how many bathrooms I've built. I think I've built, uh, probably... Uh, I've probably only built a couple of bathroom rooms, um, just on their own. But even in any of my builds and stuff, this is probably my favorite bathroom I've done. Just because I've actually tried, because it was just a speed build of a bathroom. So I actually had to add some details and stuff, otherwise it's been like... <laughs> A two minute video so we can't do that it took me about 30 minutes or so to build this room so it didn't take that long but uh yeah for a bathroom i guess that's pretty good amount of time to spend on it but i don't know i just i just really like the way it turned out and i would so love this bathroom but 
uh, it makes me happy. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's not very many screenshots, obviously, because it is just room. I think there's like five screenshots and then a layout because I always add layout. And then, uh, yeah, I wish there was more clutter items that I could add to shelves, but there isn't. So I had to size down a lot of things like that little... Um, what is that? It's like a little wicker basket or something of plates, which I guess uh, is supposed to be like for a barbecue or something you put in the backyard. I don't know. Or maybe a restaurant. But I thought it looked pretty cool, sized all the way down. And if you're not looking at it from the top view, you don't actually know that it's just plates. So uh, yeah, it just looks like it's kind of like a little organization basket that someone just stuffed up there for like extra toilet paper or something. I don't know. But I thought it looked pretty cool. So <laughs> hopefully you guys think so too. But uh, yeah, now I'm just going through finding some curtains and then I think this is probably the last thing I'm doing because I don't know I just went through and tried to find curtains for a really long time and I just didn't like any of the curtains I'm still not happy with the curtains but you know they're curtains there's only so many but I'm gonna go ahead and go now I hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoyed the room if you did there's a download link in the description for you guys but thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, or subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what type of room you would like to see me build next time. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!